like what I showed you. Uh, you ain't uh, even my girl. Uh, Do you just how you like it? Yeah. I know you just how you like it. <laughs> yeah. She still calling. <laughs> calling the <Leroy. laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Hello. Let me cut the music off. How y'all doing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Elroy had to come back. Let me get on in the camera. I'm good. So y'all can see me. All good there in the camera here. You know, you know. <laughs> How y'all doing out there? Yeah, you know Elroy got his cup. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, hey, y'all. It's been about a week. You know. <laughs> ain't seen y'all. Y'all ain't seen Elroy. <laughs> you know, they say, Elroy, we miss you. Why you ain't go live? <laughs> I say, uh, you know, YouTube ain't paying me no money right now. So, you know, I got to get the bag where I can get the bag. <laughs> oh, <right. coughs> oh, shit. Here we go. We're starting early. <laughs> We're starting early, y'all. So, how y'all doing out there, you know? Let's talk for the people real quick, you know? Oh, Elroy <laughs> had a good, good week, you know. Uh, I had to break up with my girlfriend, y'all. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to do it. She was uh, she was bothering me too much, you know. On my ass about this and that. Why I don't take her out? Why we gotta go to the cheesecake factory? What's wrong with the cheesecake factory? I said, can we go to Sizzler? That's better. <laughs> she said, no. I said, okay. No Sizzler. They got the salad bar. I thought her fat ass would like the salad bar. <laughs> Nevertheless, she was on your boy. Too tough. What is too tough, y'all? Oh, it's too tough. Is that is that uh that they calling you all the time, telling you you know we don't spend enough time, you know you always working. Who are these other bitches? <laughs> Nevertheless. She called herself texting me the other day, you know. 
and say, uh, I think we should see other people. <laughs> I said, bitch, I've been seeing other people. <laughs> you just want, you just starting to find out, goddamn. So, you know, Uncle, you know, Elro. <laughs> I sparked a blunt. Went to the contacts. Block. Out of there. <laughs> Get out of there. We're wasting my time, goddammit. It's Elroy. Elroy. I'm the nigga. <laughs> anyway, anyway, how y'all been? Like I said, took a week off. I know I'm supposed to be consistent. I know, I know, I know. I'll be on nephew about that. Y'all got to stay consistent. You know, nephew, they doing their thing over there last time. They had 300 subscribers. Now they at 315. Slow bun, slow bun. But, you know, you got to stay consistent, you know. And they say, Elroy, you ain't consistent. I say, nigga, get out of my face. I got a job. I make some money. <laughs> it's, I'm just helping y'all channel out. Fuck off me. People want to see me anyway. <laughs> so I'm here. Anyway. We here, y'all. I had nephew do the same, set up the topics, go over the topics. He said, y'all like my perspective. <laughs> so, let's see what nephew got here for us, huh? Let's see what he got here for us, huh? Starting out, we gotta talk about it, y'all. We gotta talk about it. What the hell is this? Oh, that's how nephew do the, <laughs> the thumbnails. <laughs> I've been watching them. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. But the saga continues. Ain't nobody going to stop my pride. Ain't nobody going to hold me down. I got to keep on moving. <laughs> so we got your boy Diddy. It's been a rough month, y'all. I'm not going to lie to you. Rough month for your boy, Diddy. <sighs> Diddy has stepped down as the chairman of Revolt, the company he co-founded in 2013. Now, I got to ask y'all. I got to ask. Is this the beginning of the end for Sean Diddy Combs? Shut up. Nevertheless, the brother had a civil suit with Cassie. You know, he, <laughs> he dropped that bag. We don't know the value, but it was 30. She asked for 30. I think she got 45, 50. I'm just saying. But, uh, did it, Bob? Did it? I, I don't know. I, I I don't know what to say. This is a uh, did it is bad. Did it? Will you shut up? Shut up! Oh, making me kick his ass. God damn it! I guess you can't stop him from barking. Oh, yeah, there you go. You want to stop now. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Anyway, back to Diddy. Yeah, man, he's losing some companies. Um, This is just the beginning, I guess. You know, uh, he lost his uh, school that he over, over in, uh, in New York City. He lost his school. And, uh, you know, the kids, they love you, Diddy. We was counting on you, Diddy, to bring us another... Another good school, some good, you know, good fortune. 
But, you know, uh, this is the beginning of the end, I guess, you know. This ain't no legend about it. He done lost Revolt. Now, Revolt, they wasn't doing too good anyway. I gotta say, because y'all black people, y'all don't support black people, you know. Y'all go, y'all buy all the white men shit. Y'all don't support the old men, you know, you know. Anyway, I, I like it. I like Revolt. I used to watch Revolt. Breakfast Club was over there oh, 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 a few months ago, or about a year, or whatever it was. But I like Revolt. They hold it down. They got some stuff over there, but right now, Diddy out of there, you know. So, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, brother, you know. I do know your friend, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> Mr. Jackson wanted to buy your company. And, uh, you sold it to the white man, I heard. Why, did he? Why? Now, I know there was some rivalry back in the day. <laughs> I heard he was fucking your bitch. <laughs> And, uh, 50 ain't gonna let that go. <laughs> if you was fucking my bitch, it'd be up for life, nigga. You know? So I'm gonna get these jokes off. <laughs> That's just what it is. I'm gonna get these jokes off, you know? 50, he's a crazy motherfucker. Now, 50 says that you should just go ahead and, you know, file for bankruptcy. You know, everybody done did it, did it? Trump, Trump, Trump. <laughs> you know, I was sitting with Trump right before he did his uh, fifth bankruptcy. I don't know what the hell. I don't even know how this nigga got president. You know, I put in a good word for him. You know, Elroy know everybody. Let's not play that game. So, you know, after his uh, fifth uh, 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 bankruptcy, you know, I say, hey, nigga, <laughs> let me hold a million, you know. You're going to get rid of it anyway. You're going to ride it off anyway. They're going to give it back to you anyway. Let me hold a goddamn million, nigga, you know. You know Trump being Trump. He don't help out the old black people. He help out the young blacks because he wants y'all vote. <laughs> Trump said, yo, old ass nigga, get off of my face, you know? I said, fuck you then, you know? I walked out and out of his office, fuck him, you know? <sighs> then I had a bitch go in there and snatch off that goddamn toupee. <laughs> but back to Diddy. Listen, get over it. 50 is gonna be 50. He gonna play the game. You know 50 play the game. I love you, 50. 50, you a cold-ass nigga. <laughs> but 50 gonna play the game, you know? 50 gonna play the game. But why would you sell it to the white man instead of the black man? I don't like that, Diddy. I don't like that. We gotta do better. We gotta do better. <sighs> oh, my God. Now, how to whistle, how to peck a, how to pickle, how did it, how Columbus, how everybody, God damn it, everybody coming out the woodworks on you. I told you they're having a bad month, boy. A bad month, boy. <laughs> now, this one just hit the presses. Not too long ago before Elroy hit live. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Columbus short. A little short. He say, allegedly, did he try them one night? Who did he? You see, now, I think everybody gonna try to come out and 
get a little two cents in, you know. Everybody want to say something about Diddy now. You know, it's a funny thing, you know. When Joe... Uh, 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 but I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. God damn it. I'm all over the place. God damn it. Slow down. Slow down, everyone. Slow down. When Joe was speaking about it, button that is. I'm sorry if I didn't say that. God damn it, Elroy. You're all over the place today. <laughs> it's that drink, you know. Cheers. <laughs> Nevertheless, Joe was speaking about it. And he was going in on act. He wasn't going in, but, you know, he was saying, how the hell is no one else going in on Diddy but act is? Academics. You know I love academics, you know. But, uh, I have to agree. Now, everybody coming out the woodworks. And act ain't let up. He ain't let up. No, not from what I've been seeing, you know. Ack ain't let up once. And, uh, there was a good, another good point made. You know I watch all this shit. <laughs> you know, they say, <coughs> 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 <laughs> they say that all uh, the fuck did they say <laughs> Elroy you done lost your train of thought acting silly <laughs> uh what did Ax say he had a good take god damn it god damn it what was that take oh it wasn't a great, it wasn't a big take, but all. Uh, he just said, you know, in order to get that money that she had on that lawsuit, on that civil case, she had to just, you know, throw the little fishing pole out there, you know. They didn't think she was going to file that lawsuit, but she did. But she said just enough to get people talking. Now... This shit comes in out, <coughs> excuse me, pardon me, sorry. This shit is coming out now, Columbus Short. Now, oh, they came at Columbus Short some years ago, I believe, I, I forget. And it's not about revenge, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, Columbus done had his time in the, in the media before, you know. You better slow your ass down. But everybody's coming at Diddy, and they're not scared no more. I know y'all saw Lunell. She go over, 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 over. She backstage at a concert, and she go over, or wherever she is, and she go and she scribble over Diddy, give him the horns, you know. Hey, Diddy was a powerful man at one time. Nobody fuck with Diddy. They love Diddy. We still love Diddy. But Diddy, you're being freaky, boy. It's coming out. Your freak tells your freak. What the hell did they call it? The freaky? The freak offs. Columbus saying you called him for a freak off, boy. One night. I, I, Columbus, you might be looking for the clot, but uh. They say Diddy like to party. You know, a lot of allegations been coming out lately. I'm just going to leave it alone. But if you like to hide the pickle, Columbus, you know you got a pocket. <laughs> you know you got a pocket to hide it in, boy. I done heard about you too. I done heard about you too. Don't play with me, boy. Oh, my God. Scissor. God damn it, you look good. Is that the Dior, the Dior panties? Oh my God, shit. I tell y'all something, if we wasn't fucking, uh, 
If I wasn't streaming right now, I, I, God damn it, right now, I'd get off the scissor. God damn it, I can't even take a drink. Let me sit back, God damn it. Anyway, uh, Gilly, <clears throat> he brought up a good point. You know, because, uh, Elroy, he live on the basis, you do what you want. Live how you live, live your life, Elroy ain't judging, you know, uh, you're a little thick, hey, work it out, you don't like it, hey, go get it changed, do what you gotta do, Elroy don't discriminate, but Gilly, you know, I love Gilly and Wallow over there, shout out, he brought up a good point, you know, are they overrated? Let's listen to what he say. On the grand, everybody looked the same, man. Is BBLs overrated? What do you mean? Is they overrated now? When you say overrated, break it down. I mean, everybody, everybody looked the same. I'm not gonna say the overrated is all about your taste because that small, that small waist with them big cheeks. That's you know. I don't think it's overrated. I think people people like that. Cause I'm I'm scrolling down the grand. Everybody look the same, man. Is BBLs overrated? Yo, everybody look the same. He ain't lying. Y'all looking like ants. The thin little legs and the big ass. You know. Uh, again, I'm not discriminating, lady. Some of your shit look crazy. If you're going to get it done, get it done right. You know. Don't, don't cheat yourself. It look crazy. It look crazy. I don't know if they overrated. Me personally, <laughs> I like a nice scrumptious thing. If it's natural, I like it. If it's BBL, I'm not opposed. Oh, uh, you know, if it's too heavy, hey, Elroy can't deal with it. <laughs> I told you before, I'll pop two or three and we can go a couple rounds. <laughs> but, uh, scissor is a nice thing. And, uh, BBL or not, it looks nice. Now, she got an act. She did a get an act. Let me light my blunt. Sorry, y'all. You know, Elroy is a chain smoker. <laughs> she did get an act. Because uh, he didn't know how she had looked at one point. And he got on a, on his page. And he talked about her. It was a back and forth with him and TDE. And, uh, you know. But uh, she looked good. Uh, you know what I don't like on the VBLs? When it's too stiff. If it's too stiff. Bitch, you sit, feel like sandpaper. It's that hard. It's that rough. It's stiff. It's like a goddamn sack of fucking marbles. Nasty. You gotta get it done right, baby. You gotta get it done right. But nevertheless, I love, I love scissor. So if this is the BB, if this is overrated, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That look good to me. <laughs> it ain't overrated to me. <laughs> Call me, sis. Call me. <laughs> what we got here next? Oh, Lizzo, fat ass. Lizzo, Lizzo, Lizzo. Now, look. Hold on. <laughs> hold on now. Now, Lizzo decide she want to get on the back of the uh, what do you call that the golf cart <sighs> what in the hell are you thinking girl you know how big y'all you know how big you are why does it keep doing that god damn it i'm sorry y'all god damn it yeah anyway <laughs> 
Lizzo almost flipped the card. Cardi B looks back like, what in the hell was going on? She couldn't say nothing because that's Lizzo. You know, she can't, she can't say nothing. <laughs> but somebody said something. They said, get your big ass off the back. <laughs> Let's look at it. Lizzo, get your big ass off the back. Lizzo, <coughs> <coughs> what the? I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry, yo. Bitch, you are, you, you are a liability. <laughs> I've been on the back of the cart trying to flip Cardi B. <laughs> this precious diamond we got sitting here in the passenger. What the hell is wrong with you, girl? <laughs> we love you, Cardi. We love you, Cardi. I know you was trying to be nice. Just give a little ride to the stage. <laughs> Yo, fat ass Will. Oh, oh, you're a fucking liability, girl. What the fuck you doing? Walk your ass to the stage. God damn it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know we're going to be going in. I'm sorry. I know. Mm -hmm. That is fucking hilarious. Let's watch it one more time, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Everyone's an idiot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next, next topic. Oh boy. All right. All right. No. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, slow down, Harold. Slow down. Now, I, I don't know what to think about this here. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think about it. You know, we was just talking about BBL. Then we got fat wheels <laughs> lifting carts. <laughs> but Mama want to live her life. Mama say, I want to live my life on OnlyFans. She don't look too bad. She don't look too bad. Now, my only question is, <clears throat> why are you on OnlyFans? Your son, he, he makes some good money. And, uh, you know, I'm sure he take care of his mama. Why are you on OnlyFans? And right now, while I'm on trial? I got a, oh boy. Mama, you know we got access to the internet in here. <laughs> My bunkie is over here getting it off to you. On OnlyFans. Because you want to do an OnlyFans. Elroy <sighs> get it off. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> but this young man, he's sitting in here. Facing life, murder, whatever the fuck, death penalty. <coughs> and he got to hear that his mom is starting to OnlyFans. This is the world today. Black ladies, women, I'm not judging. But your son is on trial. 
Put you on the payroll. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> I'll be your only fan. <laughs> That's the name of only fans. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Anyway, get it together, girl. I know the name is the name, and you gonna you gonna rack up some some cheddar, some chili, as the kids say that they chili. You gonna wrap up some chili. Because of the name. Everybody want to see your little ass, you know? Get it together. That boy going through a lot right now. Okay, um. Let's get ready to rumble, y'all. Let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> A little racist. I'm sorry. A little racist. Anyway. Genie Ma. <laughs> I guess somebody was getting too much backlash. <laughs> Genie Ma suggests Jesus was unfaithful in the marriage. Prenup says he will have to pay up due to the infidelity. Jesus. Jesus. Y'all was married, what, a year? Jesus. Let's get ready to rumble. Oh, 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 Jesus. You doing that to that girl? You impregnated her. You moved in the house. She got on your goddamn nerves, clearly. You know, all her family, her brothers, her mama and shit, all up in the house, making compound chicken and fucking dumplings and shit. I don't want that shit every night. I done been to Panda Express every time this week, goddamn it. I don't want it no more right here. Nevertheless, you was out there doing your thing, huh? Thug Motivation 202. <laughs> You was moving still out there trying to move around in the ATL, huh? <laughs> okay, boy. Okay, she about to hit you over the head now. You see, earlier, we was on your side. And I'm still on your side, boy. But when the headline suggests that she was the problem, and now she coming out to say, you were the problem. I don't know, Jesus. I gotta be fair across the board. I don't know. Oh, well, I gotta be fair. You know, I gotta be fair. That's wrong. It's a pretty young lady. Old melon head, forehead ass bitch. But, uh, you know, <laughs> we love you. You know, Jesus loves you. But, you know, she had said some shit about, you know, black men is a side piece anyway. What the hell? I'm not a side piece bitch. I'm the whole meal. Appetizer, full, eight course bitch, and dessert. Everything. I'm that nigga. Elroy. No, no fucking side piece bitch. You should have stayed over there on the white side. Come over here. That nigga showed you that thug loving. That Bobby Brown lockjaw. Thug loving. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Nevertheless, hey, Jeezy again, I got to keep it fair. You were swinging, you were doing your thing, boy. But uh, you can't sell her the dream. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. You got the family in the house. Baby came, you know, she thought it was forever. She got on your nerves. You went to 
uh, 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 Magic City or uh, 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 whatever else over there, over there in Atlanta, you know. You got your freak on, you know. Maybe you and Diddy made up, met up. <laughs> Keep your head up, boy. What? Oh, 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 shit. Well, let's get ready to rumble. Because you know they going to eat you up now. The table's going to turn a little bit on the, on the female side. Oh, he was cheating. Oh, we knew. Oh, that's a black man. You know, black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. He don't cheat at all. Black men don't cheat. God damn it. Fuck the, fuck the, fuck, fuck being in the middle. Jeezy ain't cheat on nobody. Bitch, you lying. Next. <laughs> I love you, Jeezy. <laughs> now, this shit has been crazy. This shit right here has been crazy. This little nigga, this little nigga right here. I wish this little nigga was my son. I slap his ass. What's that shit we used to say back in the day? I slap his ass in the next week. <laughs> this little nigga right here, bad ass nigga. Now I'm gonna say something. I used to watch the show. I used to watch the show, King. I saw you come up. We all saw you come up, boy. You was not, you couldn't even spell bando. <laughs> Y'all want me to take you to the bando over on me and my house? I take you to the bando. We go to the bando right now. I take you to the bando. To the bando. Nigga, you just learned that word four years ago. Bando. Shut your ass up. Oh, bando ass nigga. Oh, bando. I don't know what a bando is. You know, you're disrespectful, boy. Shout out to T.I. and Tiny. I got to give it up. The nigga tried to play you the other day on the video. He tried to play you, Tip. He tried to play you. And you did your thing. You're strong. You got it. Get your ass. Get your ass. You got to get up there like that sometimes, you know? <laughs> They'll get at you, Tip. They'll get at you. You know? You got a strong on they little ass sometimes, God damn it. And this little nigga right here. Is he, uh, what's wrong with this little nigga? What's wrong with him? Can somebody tell me what's wrong with him? Why is he, why? I don't understand it. You want to do, uh, I don't know. So now today, sorry, let's get to the topic. <laughs> I had to bring y'all up to speed. Anyway, he was saying, sorry, I didn't even bring y'all up to speed. God damn it, Elroy, your drink is getting to you. Let's put some more in the cup. <laughs> anyway, he was uh earlier this week, if you didn't see it over there on the on the two. He getting at his parents because he say, oh, 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 he ain't want to live behind the pearly gates of his life. He want to be in the bando. He, 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 he want to stand on Ben. You know, nevertheless, nigga, we saw you on TV growing up, King. And your little brother, too. Cute little thing. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Cute young man. Precious young man. We loved him on, I forget his name right now, but we loved him on camera. But we saw you and your brother grow up on camera, boy. You wasn't, uh, 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 I didn't see no band, no crack hole, nothing around your, your old ass. You know, rest in peace to your grandmother, you know. Good lady, good lady. We had some days. I ain't gonna I keep it on the low, you know, because I know about the band, old, you know. But, we seen you grow up, boy. So he goes on um, try to ruffle his up his father, you know, and say, "Hey, you know my pedigree. Oh, oh, you know me in the bando and all this shit. You know, get the fuck on out of here. Fast forward. Today, come out. Tiny Harris shut down rumors that Ti isn't King's father. Yeah, she shut down the room. You know. Anyway." Y'all know this nigga Bimmy right here? Bimmy. Bimmy. 
bad man. That's Deb Etnie's uh, uh, brother, Walker Flocker's uh, 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 uncle. I know my shit. I know my shit. Anyway, it kind of looked like each other. Huh? A little, a little, a little, uh, a little bit. A little bit. Anyway, it's a rumor, y'all. It's crazy. Again, we saw the whole family grow up on TV. It's just a rumor. Nevertheless, y'all really got to talk about it because it's crazy. They do favor each other. I ain't going to lie. I ain't gonna lie, Tiny. What was you doing back there in them escape days? Now, you know I was around. Elroy's around for everything. I know <laughs> they see Elroy around for everything. I was backstage though when Jermaine Dupree and Candy was playing hide the seek. <laughs> Nevertheless, let's see here. What else here, okay? What else we got there? Oh, okay, here. Fat Joe. Terror Squall. Terror Squall. I commend you, boy. I commend you. Everybody's trying to do something. To help Thugger. <sighs> Joey Crack. Again, I commend you. But I don't know if we believe you. 95% of your rhymes are fake, you say? <sighs> Let's listen. When you see that he's on trial accused and, and that his lyrics can now be used against him in this trial that's horrible it's a travesty uh i've been rapping professionally for 30 years i've lied in almost 95 percent of my songs <laughs> i'm being not lied just just go i i write like i feel that day mm -hmm. i'm just being creative okay you know if you, you could probably put you couldn't build the jail high enough for the lyrics i've said on songs which are all untrue. What I am is a family man, the person who gives back to my community all the time, open businesses in my community. So the music would never amount to the actual person, Joseph Cartagena. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's even more horrible is that the district attorneys, they know those lyrics ain't real. They know that's creativity, but if it helps their case, they'll use it to put these guys in jail. And here we're having a fun show about it and discussion but there really is six defendants in Atlanta who might spend the rest of their life in jail for something that's uh, totally not true. Yeah, you're saying this is not a laughing matter. This is Jeez. very serious. Well, this is very serious. Mm -hmm. This destroys families. This destroys, uh, I, would, I would say those guys got at least 100 people that are employed by them that they pay their bills. You know, no Thanksgiving for them, no Thanksgiving for the 100 employees. Mm -hmm. What's your reaction? Respect. Respect, Joe. Respect. 95% though, you say your lyrics is fake. Oh, mm, I, I make it rain on them bitches. Hey, crack, 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 crack. They call it cracker, you hear the echo. Crack, crack, crack. So you was faking. Joey fake, not Joey crack, huh? Listen. I know you and Pun used to get out back in the day. Terror Squad. And I agree. They shouldn't use the lyrics. We had, we talked about that in, in the other show, my other show. They shouldn't use all the lyrics, you know. I, I agree with that. But this is blasphemy, boy. You know you're lying. And, and you know what? I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Everyone's going to say this. You're not really lying. You're lying a little bit, but you're really speaking for the niggas that ain't really did that. Ain't really about that. I know. I know you're speaking for them niggas, you know. Them niggas that talk about it, 
Ain't really did it. I know. I know. Uh, uh, you got We doing whatever we can for Thugger. You know, we all want to help Thugger. Whatever can help Thugger, we going to do. So, but I don't know about this 95%. You ain't, your lyrics is fake. I, I don't know about all that. Because, you know, you at the stage right now where you can say that. Every rapper can't say that, Joe. It would kill their career, you know? I'm sure we can go back and listen to a lot of rhymes, Joe. A lot of your rhymes. Now they got to be questioned. Since you say you were thinking it. 95% is a lot, boy. That's a lot. I'm just saying, whoever is speaking the truth, he's just giving his perspective. You hear the echo? Fake, 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 fake. The niggas lying. Fake, 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 fake. Shut your ass up, Joe. We know you wasn't lying, boy. You served me three bags back in the 90s. Stop it. Don't die. Hey, I, hey. You're know, going to let you slide. I didn't want to bring it up. <laughs> Three bags. I let it go. I let it go. Crack, 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 crack. Now this was funny here. You know. I seen this, y'all. I want y'all to take on this. I want y'all to leave it in the comments. Or whatever y'all do over there. In, or the comments, chat, whatever the fuck y'all do. Anyway. I want to know how y'all feel about this here. This employee. Popeye's employee goes off on customer for changing her order at the window. The nerve. Your money back, lady? Fuck your money. I could not stop laughing at this, y'all. Listen, I'm going to play it for y'all. Just pay attention. Pay attention. Let me know how y'all feel. Everyone is tied with the young man. Fuck this bitch. <laughs> Customer service is this. Um, This is the number two, right? Yes. Um, I meant to say number three. I don't want this. And, um, yeah, can you change that to a number three? Matter of fact, um, a number seven. Oh, number three. You pick one. You pick one. Excuse me. You heard what I said, bro. You got to close, bro. I got time for your shit, bro. What kind of customer service is this? Cheers. I want a number. No, I want. I want a number. And I don't want fan. I want. I want fruit punch, please. You want fruit punch? All fucking well, you finna get what the fuck I made and what the fuck you paid for. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of customer service is this? What kind of customer are you? Oh. I just want to. Well. No, I want to just, just just give my money back. Your money back? Lady, fuck your money. Here, get this. Here you go. You have a nice day. <laughs> oh. What kind of customer service? I could not stop laughing, y'all. That shit was jokes. Listen, I know everybody trying to go viral. Viral, 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 viral. But, bitch, you deserve that. She said, at the window, let me get a number seven. Hold on, wait. Let me get a number three. Hold on, wait. I don't want the Sprite. I want the Fruit Punch. What the hell, bitch? <laughs> you gotta have more respect for these workers, you know? They'll spit in your food. You don't want them to spit in your food. Young man, hard working. Hey, he look like he about to go home. He got the North Face on. He, he look hey, hey, he look like that's his last order. <laughs> 
he ain't playing no game. <laughs> and you gonna tell him to change the order. Just get the fuck out of here, girl. What's wrong with you? Listen, young man. Because she was recording, <sighs> you gotta do a little bit better. You can't cuss out. You know, you're still representing Popeyes. <sighs> you know, it's gonna look bad on you because, you know, you cussed out. Customers are always right. But fuck this bitch. I'm siding with the young man. Tell Uncle Earl, tell him Uncle Earl what's that. He's siding with the young man. If they decide to want to try to fire you, fuck all that, you know. I'm siding with you, boy. That was hilarious, though, boy. I would have threw the goddamn drink in her car and, to and told her, get the fuck out my window. <laughs> I love it, boy. I love it, boy. Over there, you all lose your job. Oh, boy. Now, you know, I love this young lady. She stands up for herself. And she was on the 30 for 30 for 30, 30 under 30. 30 under 30. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I get it right. It's late. It's late. Uh, uh, she was under for the, the 30 under 30 on the Forbes list, you know. Gotta give her props. Young lady, she doing the thing. She doing the thing. But, you know, y'all was talking about her grades the other week. Or they try to put out she was doing bad on her grades or some shit like that. But it turns out, you know, she said she just want to reset. You know, let her reset. Angel Reese talks about taking the time to reset post-game interview. My mental health is most important thing than anything. What's wrong with that, y'all? Of the importance of having time to reset. To what extent do you feel comfortable sharing, maybe just generally or conceptually, what you felt you needed or to reset or did reset? My mental health is the most important thing before anything, and I'm gonna make sure I'm okay before anything because I don't want to cause anything harm or any cancer within in the locker room. So being able to take a reset to myself, like I said before. I am human, I'm not just an athlete, and that's okay to do. Pros do it all the time. So whatever story that were wrote and written, don't believe everything you read. I mean, I'm back and I'm happy and I'm here and I'm moving forward and I'm gonna take this team and help take this team as far as I can. I mentioned earlier uh, the importance of having Good to reset. Good for you, Keep your foot on their neck. Fuck that goddamn reporter. I know he's trying to go viral too. You know, he got to ask his questions, you know. We all got a job to do. But keep your foot on the neck, girl, you know. I like your response. Mental health, you know, Charlamagne made it a thing about two, three years ago. You know, he made it a thing. So we got to respect it. And I'm not against it. If you need a mental health break, take your break, baby girl. Take your break. But I better not see you on that TikTok, Instagram, shaking that little ass of yours like I done seen, you know. You're 30 under 30 now. You got to elevate. You got little girls looking up to you. You know, you got to elevate. It's just something you got to do, baby girl. It comes with the age. It comes with the celebrity. I know they looking at you now like you the star. But, you know. Take your time, do it right, and do it for you, baby girl. Do it for you, do it for you. I respect it, I respect it. She's gonna be, I like this young lady, she's gonna be very famous, very big, very big in her field. Whatever she decides to do, she has great potential from Elroy. Cheers. And this motherfucker right here, he should have killed his ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry. Inmate was stabbed 22 times. I don't, you know... 
Rest in peace to George. Moment of silence. Cheers to George. Moment of silence. Black lives do matter, y'all. They do matter. And, uh, you know, I, will we, is this justice served that he got, you know, arrested, got sentenced? And now he got, he got caught. 22 times stabbed. Now, evidently, they didn't hit no arteries. They didn't kill the nigga. Which I wish they had. But, uh, you know, Derek Chauvin. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. And the camera you rode in on. I hope you're rotting jail, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Kill the nigga next time. I don't care, damn it. Oh, let's see here. Hold on now. Let me check something out there. You know, you know, you already got to check something out there. Hold on now. Uh, what are we talking about here, Nick? Oh, you know, we can't go a show without talking about sex. 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 Sexery. <laughs> you know, I like him some scissory, you know? I'm pregnant at all, you know? I know last show I was talking about she need to sit down. But God damn it, look at them titties. They just waiting to be sucked on by that little milk. Mama. Mama. <laughs> they just waiting to be sucked on. Them things is getting brown and melony. <laughs> Sexy, don't miss. Anyway, she got a new song, y'all. It's Ratchet. <sighs> She's doing a thing. Listen, she is capitalizing on the wave. Her wave, her wave, her wave. I can't hate on it, y'all. You know, I was talking to my young bitch. I got a young bitch, sorry. You know. And, you know, I wake up the other morning and she's paying ski. I said, bitch, if you don't turn this shit off, I'm trying to have my morning coffee. She said, daddy, this the shit. Ski. And then she played. She got me. She got me. She played. The one was Scissor. She know I love Scissor. She know I love Scissor. She know I love Scissor. Why she do that? She played the one with Scissor. Then that asshole, let that coochie breathe. Hands on your knee, hands on your knee. And then says the sex ad, come on. At the end. <laughs> I love you, girl. I love you. Oh, you killed that. Anyway, after hearing that about 50 times, <laughs> imagining scissor sitting on my lap or my face. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. She say sex, they got a new song. So I say put it on. <laughs> So uh, I brought it here for y'all to listen to. Y'all let me know y'all feedback in the comments, in the section. I gotta say, oh, nephew say like, comment, subscribe. I don't know what the fuck that mean, but uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do what the fuck you gotta do. Do it. Anyway, this is Sexy Red New Song. Let's listen.
That's a hit, y'all. They say it's a hit. Baby girl says it's a hit. I told the bitch player keep it on repeat. <laughs> That's a hit, y'all. <laughs> Fuck my baby daddy. This is the messaging that she's leaving for y'all young ladies. Fuck my baby daddy. Fuck my baby daddy. Like I said, Elroy just like a fuck. Elroy just, he's a, he's a fucking nympho. I'm sorry, y'all. He's a nympho. Elroy's a nympho. And he just like a fuck. But this is, is, you know, morals still have to come into play. Morals. This is the wrong message that we, you know, we leave it to the young ladies. It's the wrong message. But, uh, you know. It's the message that y'all want to hear right now. Fuck my baby dad. And, uh, you know, city girls doing their thing, you know. You know, get the bag. Fuck the nigga. Fuck this. You don't need this. You don't need that from a nigga. You know. Listen. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. God watch Thank God I thank you for everything you get her. Uh, got the devil away from uh, her. It's a good song. It's a good song, boy. You gonna sue me now, too, boots? You gonna sue me now? Cause I sung the hook. You gonna sue Elroy? I know I sound better than Raw Lee. <laughs> anyway, Boosie say he asked Raw Lee for two hundred thousand, twenty-five percent of the royalties for sampling his song "Long Journey." Dear God, I thank you for everything you gave us. I live away from her, the devil the way. I don't know, goddamn. It's a good song. It's a good song. It's a good song. Boosie trying to get his money. And I ain't mad at you. You know, they say Rod Wave was taking lyrics from Jay Z, everybody else. Rod, you might have some explaining to do. I know that publishing about to hit your ass. They gonna make sure they get their money. <laughs> Nevertheless, you know, two hundred thousand. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. Twenty-five percent of royalty on one song. Now that's a big song, y'all. That's a big song. That's a big song. I don't know. You know, that's a lot, Boosie. Twenty-five percent's a lot on the royalty. You know, you gotta pay the producer. You gotta pay the rider. I know he didn't ride it. You gotta pay your ass. You gotta pay the studio. You gotta pay his fucking agent. His uh, all the people at the the the, the record label. It's a lot of people you gotta pay, boy. Twenty five percent's a lot. I don't know if you're gonna get that, but uh, you know, he fighting. He fighting. Boosie is a staple in this industry. You know, we love Boosie. We love Boosie for years. We let Boosie get away with a lot. We let him get away with a lot. Cause we love Boosie, you know. So let him get his 200,000, you know. He ain't never lied to me. He ain't never lied to y'all. He over on Black giving y'all all the tea y'all want. That's Boosie. Honor Boosie. We love Boosie. Give him his goddamn money, you fuckers. <sighs> Don't get it all right started. And then we got this, y'all. You know. You know, Elroy personally put this in here, you know. I want y'all to pay close attention to this here, you know, because, uh, you know, they say back in the day, that 
it was wrong to say black women had attitudes. Okay. Now, I agreed with that for a second, you know. I never understood why y'all getting mad at us for saying y'all got an attitude problem. When y'all got an attitude problem, you got an attitude problem. It is what it is. Nevertheless, women on TikTok gives a few tips to the black woman on getting a white man. What does she say? Get rid of the resting bitch face. Get rid of that resting bitch face. Crack a smile. Crack a smile. Now this piss Elroy off because it say white man. Why? 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 Why can't it say just a man? Why's it gotta say white man? It pissed Elroy off. Before because for years the black man has been saying, why y'all got an attitude problem? And we look crazy because a black woman say y'all just wanna have somebody to Push over, be easy. A white woman, a Latina, you know, she give you everything. She do anything for you, family style. No, we want our queens to just. I'll be respectful. Oh, I'll be respectful. We want y'all to just tone it down. We love y'all. We fucked up a lot. We fucked up a lot. But just tone it down. We fuck with you, ladies. Black woman. We fuck with you. You gotta tone down the attitude. And this black woman, right here, right here, she said it best. I'll let y'all listen to her because a black man saying it, you get offended. A lot of sisters are saying that the white men are intimidated to approach them. Here is my advice to you. Start with your vibe. Your vibe, your aura, your energy, that's going to speak for itself. If you can be that vibe, that aura, that energy, he is definitely going to open his mouth. If not, it's okay for you to extend that vibe and allow things to naturally, organically happen. Be yourself. People are attracted to people that are themselves. If you're trying to be somebody else, it's just not going to work in general. Like, be yourself. As black women, I must attest that we sometimes have that resting bitch face. Get rid of it because that's going to immediately intimidate a white guy to be like, oh, yeah, no, never mind. She's probably not even interested or don't even want to be bothered. Crack a smile. Crack a smile, a little wink or, you know, a little flirtatious type of motion or gesture. That is going to get his attention, baby. Do not be afraid to speak first. Say hello. Hello does not hurt anybody. Actually, believe it or not, sometimes a hello can go a long way. You make somebody's day sometimes by just saying hello. Give him a compliment. Believe it or not, men like to be complimented, and that is definitely something that's going to make them open their mouths and extend some interest. Make sure you are whole within yourself because any man can spot weakness. So make sure you are whole and you are walking in with extreme confidence. Those are a few tips that I hope will help you guys. And trust me, if there's any more tips that anybody got, please drop them below. Comment below on how you got your man, sis, or how your man found you, whatever. Be the part. Play the part. And you will definitely attract what it is that you want to attract. And the biggest thing of all, manifest it, okay? So I want to help my sisters out. Manifest the white man. That's what the black woman saying. Manifest the white man. I'm just asking why, why?
We've been saying this for years. Black woman? What's with the attitudes? I ain't got no attitude. Why you always say black woman got attitude? I ain't got no attitude. Uh, bitch, you got an attitude right now. You're talking to me with a fucking attitude. That's my show, y'all. I wanted to save this to the end because uh, I don't know. For years and years, it's been a thing. It's been a thing. We know it's been a thing. I wanted to save it to the end for y'all, you know. Hopefully, y'all leave in the comments. Y'all, you know, say some positive shit. But, that's another episode, y'all. <laughs> Hell roar. I'm glad y'all tuned in with me. I think this is three, episode three. And, uh, you know, y'all that nephew, how, how I'm doing over there on the channel, you know. Let me know if y'all want to see Hell roar. I don't mind doing this, you know. Elroy yeah, got, I told y'all, I got stores all over L.A. Making money. It ain't a thing. But I love talking to y'all. Bringing y'all the topics. Talking my shit. <laughs> Nevertheless. This was a good one, y'all. You know. I didn't give y'all too many stories, you know. I, nephew said I gotta calm down on the stories, even though, even though, that goddamn disclaimer's right there on the beginning. Nephew say calm down on the stories. Can't be giving away all the sauce. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I appreciate y'all for turning to, turn, 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 turn. <laughs> it still got me, y'all. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for tuning in to Uncle Elroy, episode three. Yeah, three. <laughs> I'll see y'all next time. Like, comment, subscribe for this bullshit. Uncle Elroy's out. <laughs> Peace, motherfuckers. One more toke. We still smoking on you, Diddy? That's that Diddy pack. <laughs>